Hey guys, we're back again with another video, and in this video we're going to be reviewing Dayton Audio's newest bookshelf speakers, the MK402. I'm really excited about this line. This is a budget bookshelf speaker, and I think that it has a lot of potential. But I won't know until we unbox it and do a sound test, so let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Double digit thousand. <laughs> All right, guys, so as we open this up, the first thing that you're going to see is a document on the top. Now, this is just a normal user's manual that gives information about the specifications of the speaker, room placement options, and things of that nature. Uh, really, we're just going to put that aside for now, and we're going to take a look and see how it was boxed. You're going to notice that this foam is on top, and this same foam is on top and bottom, and each speaker is individually wrapped in plastic. Honestly, uh, it's wrapped really well. I don't have any problems with the way that they boxed it, and I think it was actually boxed better than my B652s. So that was a, a nice improvement to see that they did there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the speaker itself. I was actually really impressed with this, and the first thing that I noticed just taking out of the box was its size. It's considerably smaller than the B652, which is, of course, Dayton Audio's really flagship, you know, inexpensive bookshelf speaker, budget bookshelf speaker that they've been running for years. Uh, it's renowned because of the cost to performance ratio. And so I was really happy to see that this one is smaller because this really fits like a desktop setup much nicer than the B652 did. And so that's the first thing I noticed was its size. And I'm so far very, very pleased with that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the speaker and show some of the design choices they did. Now if you notice they chamfered all the edges on the front baffle and that's really nice to see. That does uh, break down diffraction and it does help with the bass response. And if you take a look at the actual woofer that they use in this, now this is just a four inch woofer, which is one of the reasons why it's such a small speaker. But man, that thing is a beast. You take a look at it and you can tell that this thing has some serious potential for bass output. And that's something I was really excited to see because like the B652, that was one of the things that I felt like it lacked in was the bass department. So that's is a very important feature or upgrade that I think was well needed. And you're going to see that this is a two-way speaker and they did put a nice dome tweeter on the top. And it is a very nice dome tweeter as well. But what really surprised me was on the back. So if you turn around on the back, you're going to see that they have, of course, a pretty nice three-quarter inch port on the back. It does give you all of your information about the speaker on the back. But what really surprised me was the binding post that they chose to use. They did use a banana plug binding post. And really, in budget speakers in this price range, you don't see that. And so that was really exciting to me to be able to see those binding posts. They do unscrew relatively easily. They're not necessarily the highest quality. They're not what you're going to expect to see on, you know, a very high end speaker, but to have them on there is very nice to have. Now the finish of the speaker is, as you can tell, it is a matte finish and it is textured and honestly, it looks good on the speaker. There's nothing really to complain about there. I, I So far, I'm really impressed with these speakers. But really, we're not going to know how impressed we are until we listen to them. So let's go ahead and do a quick sound test, and then I'll tell you what I think about them.
Alright guys, I hope you were able to experience those in the same way that I was, because if you were, you're going to know that I absolutely love these things. They just have so much punch to them, especially in this near field arrangement, which is just where I think they absolutely shine. Don't get me wrong, I listen to them in a couple different arrangements, and I like them no matter where I put them. But my personal preference is in this type of arrangement right here, with either set up on a desktop or a laptop like this, and I'll tell you the reason why. The biggest reason is the way that they cross these speakers over, which is a first order on the woofer and a second order on the tweeter, the sound actually all encompasses you. And it basically sounds like the sound is coming all around you, almost like you have like a mini surround system all around you. And that is just a really awesome way to experience your laptop or desktop. So if you're a big gamer, that's a great thing to have. Or if you like to watch movies and TV shows, these would be excellent to do. And of course, music, because who doesn't want to experience their music like that? So guys, I absolutely love these speakers. I would definitely give them my seal of approval. If you're in the market for some small bookshelf speakers, some budget bookshelf speakers, go ahead and go to Parts Express website, pick up a pair of these. They're on sale right now. I don't think you're going to get anything else as nice as these for the price. Now, if you guys would like to see me do a review of these versus the B652, let me know. I do have both of those pairs of speakers, and we can do a test and see which one you guys prefer and why. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you're aware of any new videos I have coming out. Just so you guys do know, we do have some new videos coming out this week. Uh, we're going to do a couple different reviews. There will be some more Dayton Audio project products that we're going to be reviewing and some other products. So keep an eye out for that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Double digit